Sheriff's officers may have arrived just in time to prevent a big mess. As Katrina Weber reports, they arrested two men just west of downtown who they say had all the tools for tagging. They're wearing handcuffs now for what officers believe these two either just did or were about to do with their hands. Police say from the mess on their clothes to their bag full of spray paint, it looks like graffiti was their game. You got receipts for spray paint. One suspect denied it, despite evidence police say they found, including a store receipt for the paint. They were answering a call before 3 this morning about taggers hanging off the Interstate 10 bridge at Calabra Road when they found Christopher Williams and Jeremy Escobedo, both 19, hiding nearby. The arrest may have prevented one headache in cleaning up, but this is an area where graffiti is a big problem. We'll get some up here on the top here. And on the back side, they have some on the back. Tom Johnson sees the handwriting on his walls every day. Taggers have turned buildings on Acme Screen's property into canvases for crime. Actually, we got security here. They patrol the property, and they still get in and tag it. It costs the business time and money, an endless cycle of painting and painting over. If they would use their talents in other ways, it would be great. Even with the way things looked, it's unclear whether Williams and Escobedo actually did any damage. Both are charged with evading arrest. Police say Williams also had drugs on him. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.